What's going on guys? It's Marcus here at IQ Android. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on a Galaxy Tab Pro. This is the 10.1 edition and it's running on KitKat 4.4.2. So take a look there. 4.4.2 today. And we're going to be upgrading this. It's going to go to Nougat 7.0 or 7.1, and it's gonna be running Lineage OS 14.1. All right, well, let's get started. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to put this device into download mode. So we're just gonna start by powering it off. We're just gonna hit the power button on here, power the device off, and then we're gonna turn it back on in download mode, okay? So first thing you wanna do is hold that power button on the side here. Okay, it says, do you want to power off? Say yes to that. Shut down. Okay, device is shutting down. It's a nice little Samsung logo. Okay, now the device is off. We're gonna go ahead and turn it back on and we're gonna put it in download mode. So we're gonna hold the home button in the middle, center home button. We're gonna hold the volume down on the side. And then we're also going to press that power button all at the same time. Okay. We're gonna keep on holding that until you get this screen right here. Okay, it says up to continue. So on the side, if you look a little bit close, you'll see there's a little plus sign. So you know you're going to volume up. So hit that one. You're gonna get this nice little Android guy saying downloading. Please do not turn off target. You are now in download mode, okay? So from here, we're gonna hook up to the computer and we're gonna put twerp recovery, that's T-W-R-P recovery on the device so that we can load uh, root and custom ROM this. All right. So now we are at the computer. We're gonna be plugging in a micro USB cable into the Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1. The other end is going into the lap, into the desktop computer now. Okay, make sure you guys already have the drivers loaded on your computer uh, for your device. Uh, so that way, when we get ready to do this process, you'll be ready to go. And I'll put all the links for the software that you're gonna need in the description below for you. So we're plugged into the computer. Next step is we're going to root this device using Odin and CF Auto Root. Okay, so we are now on the Windows computer and we're going to extract CF Auto Root zip right here on the desktop. Okay, move that right there so you guys can see it. Okay, so we're opening that up and inside, we got the files that we need, CF Auto Root and Odin. And bring that down a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, so we're gonna open up Odin And this is what Odin looks like. When you're plugged in, you're gonna get that blue comm button lit up right there. That blue comm means that your device is connected and recognized, okay? Next thing we wanna do, we wanna hit that AP button, and then we're gonna select the file for CF Auto Root. And this is a specific file for our Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1. Okay, once we add that, it's gonna fill in right here and then the next thing we do is we're going to hit start when we hit start just a couple things before we do make sure that auto reboot is on make sure repartition is off and then we can hit start right here okay uh, and once we do that it's going to give us a green pass up in the left hand corner in this area when it's pushing through i'm going to get some video of it actually on 
the device at the same time. All right, so I'm hitting that start button. And it's pushing it. If you take a look down here on your tablet, it's pushing it on in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn this off once it hits pass on the top. You see that there? So that's rooting us right here. Okay, it's coming back up. Right, and then let's look on the screen on the computer and we'll see where it's gonna flip over to pass up here. Just a few seconds, normally takes about two minutes or so total. You'll notice it says Android is upgrading. That's telling us that it is rooting your Galaxy Tab Pro right now. All right, so it's all the way booted back up. Give it a couple more seconds and we should get that pass where it says reset right now on Odin. Okay guys, so you can see right here it says pass. So we're going to check the device now. Okay, we've got it unlocked. There's Super SU now installed. Wasn't there before. We're going to open that up. We're going to disable Knox because we do not want Knox on this device. You can mess with your root. Okay. So it's disabling Knox right now. Okay, so we finished disabling Knox. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to install twerp on this device twerp is twrp recovery mode uh, so that way we can put the custom rom on here so next thing we're going to do we'll power off just hold that power button again hit power off Okay, remember we were holding that volume down, center home, and power button together, and now we're gonna hit volume up to continue and enter download mode once again. So now we are back in download mode. We're gonna reconnect the USB to the computer. All right, and then we're gonna go to Odin, and this time we're gonna be pushing the twerp recovery on. All right, as you can see, we are now connected back to the computer, and we're going to get twerp recovery pushed. So first thing we're gonna hit that AP button and this time we're going to select the twerp file right here. All right, and then we'll hit start and this is gonna put twerp recovery on your device. Okay, so let's take a look here as I push start. You can see start and it's going. And this is relatively quick. So we're just waiting for it to turn into pass up here at the top where it says reset. And then we'll turn the device directly into the twerp recovery mode by holding the volume up this time the power in the home button once we get that pass right here. All right, as you can see, it says pass now. That took about two minutes. And now we're gonna go to the tablet and boot it directly into twerp recovery. We're gonna hold the volume up, power, and home buttons. Okay, again, volume up, home, and power together. 
All right, sorry about that. I didn't get the splash screen on there, but we are now in twerp recovery. If you can read that, it says swipe to allow modifications. I'm gonna click on this little button that says never show again, because I don't need to see that every time. But that's just a warning. Go ahead and swipe to allow modifications. Okay, so now we are in twerp recovery. This is where we're going to install the custom ROM, which is Lineage OS 14.1. All right guys, so it's always important to make a backup first, uh, just in case things go wrong, I'm gonna go through that backup process with you right now. Okay, first thing you wanna do is click on the backup button. Backup right there. Okay, we wanna select everything, so check all these boxes here. All right, and then you wanna select the storage. Always select external storage which is a U, uh, micro SD card right there okay hit that micro SD once you hit that you're gonna hit OK and then you will just swipe to back up just swipe that across and that'll start your backup okay now I don't have anything important on this device so we're just gonna go ahead with the install but that's very important do that backup first that's Team Win Recovery Project, TWRP, okay? You'll hear me refer to it also as Twerp. All right, so I already told you guys about the backup, real important. What I did ahead of time was put the files on micro SD card is in the device and the files that we need are on that. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna wipe. We're gonna select wipe here. And it's gonna say, do you really wanna wipe this? And we're gonna say yes. So we're gonna swipe right, factory reset, and that is going to wipe this device here. Okay, it's successful. So we're gonna go back. And I like to give it a couple of wipes here, once or twice, and sometimes three times, just to make sure it's nice and cleared out. Doesn't take much time. All right, next thing we are going to do is go back and we're going to install. So we're gonna install, it's gonna say, where do you wanna install from? So we're gonna select storage down here on the bottom and we're gonna choose that micro SD card, okay? Click okay. All right, from there, I've got Lineage OS 14.1, I'm selecting that and I want to just swipe to install. We're gonna do these one at a time. Uh, you can do add zips here, but we're just gonna add, we're just gonna do them one at a time. So swipe over to confirm to flash. Give it a few minutes while it's going to install. You'll see that progress bar going across. To wipe okay and then we're gonna go back and we're going to add the G apps all right we're going back into twerp recovery so we can load the G apps so we'll have the Google Apps in here should only take a moment okay we're gonna click on install and we're gonna select our open G apps and then we're gonna swipe right to confirm. All right, it's installing. I'll bring that up a little closer so you can see. This one's pretty quick, so should be done in a matter of seconds. If it locks up, just uh, or the screen goes black, just swipe, and it'll open it back up. Okay, so we're all done. We're just gonna hit reboot system here. Reboot system. Okay, give it a few minutes here while it starts up, and we'll see that there are G apps on this tablet now. And I'll show you those. All right, here's your first look at Lineage OS on the Galaxy Tab 
Pro 10.1. So I'm just hitting that next button to continue. We're going to select English for our language. All right. It's asking for like the date and time. If you put it on Wi-Fi, you can just let that set automatically or you can adjust it if you'd like. So it's already got the right day. We just need to put the right time in there. So looking about 5.30 right now on Eastern time, PM. All right, hit next. It's asking for our Wi-Fi credentials. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Okay, so we're connected to the internet. We're gonna hit next. Well, there's a few other options. Use your Wi-Fi to let your apps know your location. So we'll go ahead and check a couple of these. Hit next. Privacy guard, we want to turn that on. All right, so we're all set. Um, now it's asking for security. Do you want to put a pin number? Do you want to put a pattern on it? We're going to skip that for right now, but I highly recommend doing that for you. Always have a security on your device. So next we'll just hit start, and this is the final screen loading the desktop right now. So this is your home screen. Just select got it. All right, we are in there. Thought we had that time set, but we'll go ahead and double check that real quick. Edit. Yeah, we're just in the wrong time zone, guys. We're gonna get this right here. Eastern time, 5.33 p.m. All right, we are in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead into the settings here. And in the settings, I'm gonna show you about tablet. And now you can see we are now on 7.1.2 Lineage OS.